Time now for a look at what new films are hitting theaters this weekend. We're joined live by film critic Richard Krause. Hey, Richard, good to see you. Happy Friday. Happy weekend. Happy Friday <laughs> to you. Let's start with a look at Uncharted. Uh, t uh, you give this one two stars. Where do you know, folks see this one? Well, this one's in theaters, and it's a big release. This is Tom Holland following up mm. the success of Spider-Man No Way Home, the most successful movie of the pandemic, uh, and he co-stars with Mark Wahlberg. And together, they are fortune hunters who are seeking a 500-year-old uh, treasure that was left by Magellan somewhere secret. Uh, they have to put all the clues together, and if they do, they will get a booty of about $5 billion. Along the way, though, there are some uh, roadblocks, mostly in the form of Antonio Banderas's character, who always seems to be there just one step ahead of uh, the stars of the film. And, you know, this is a movie that's based on a video game. Uh, the video game is mm. phenomenally successful. Uh, the movie, despite the combined charisma of Mark Wahlberg and Tom Holland, which is considerable, just feels really really generic. Uh, it feels like we've seen most of the action scenes before. A lot of the lines they say sound like they were borrowed from other better movies. So I gave Uncharted two out of five stars. It's in theaters uh, this weekend. If you really need your Tom Holland fix, you can get it there. Yeah, it kind of has an Indiana Jones look to it, obviously, without knowing yeah. much about it at all. <laughs> yeah. uh, Dog, That's what's right. this one that about at all? Mm -hmm. It is. It's about Channing Tatum and a dog. So Channing Tatum uh, <laughs> plays an army ranger uh, who is not in active service. He has PTSD. Uh, he has a traumatic brain injury, but he desperately wants back into the service. So his former commanding officer says, I have a job for you. If you take uh, this dog, a military dog who's seen war and, and been in service, uh, his handler has died. If you take him down the Pacific coast uh, from Washington to Arizona to the funeral, then we'll see about getting you back into active service. So he says, how hard can this be? I'll take the dog down there. And of course, the dog turns out to be uh, kind of uh, unhinged, a little wild. And it takes a little while for the Channing Tatum character to really start to feel simpatico with this dog. They are both people who, or both uh, individuals, who have seen war and have come back scarred by it. And uh, by the end of the film, you see redemption and you see uh, a great deal of change brought apart, uh, brought along by the companionship that they share. So I gave Dog three and a half out of five stars. It's playing in theaters right now. Uh, go for Channing Tatum. Stay for the dog's beautiful, soulful eyes. Okay, only about 30 seconds, Richard, to talk about The Cursed. This is a werewolf film, unlike any other werewolf film. Uh, it's in theaters right now. I gave it three and a half out of five stars. Uh, it, it does things to the werewolf uh, mythology that we haven't seen before. If you're a horror fan and you like slow, contemplative kind of horror, I think you'll enjoy this. Okay, short and sweet. Thanks so much, Richard. Uh, no doubt we have to talk more about Channing Tatum's eyes at a, another time. So have a great weekend and thanks for the reviews. We appreciate it. <laughs>